today we represent the work of 63 dedicated members that make up an Actors GCU from the University for the Common Good. Our mission is to make a positive difference to the communities that we are involved in, combating social, economic and environmental issues. I'm Honey and joining me today is Kevin, Kieran and Kasha. Fear, you have no choice but to leave your own country. You leave the place that you call home, abandon the memories of your childhood and the place where you're supposed to feel safe. You travel for thousands of miles in order to escape life-threatening conditions. Your life is in danger. And at that moment, all you know is fear. Over 20% of UK refugees have settled in Scotland and are looking to restart their lives. We met one of them. This is the story of our team member, Abdu. Abdu was a successful business owner in Sudan, but was forced to escape his own country due to persecution and racism. Travelling day and night for seven months, he made his way through 11 countries, sometimes walking for up to 16 hours at a time. Despite being faced with the tor torture, detentions and harsh, often life-threatening conditions, he managed to survive. Overcoming five and a half thousand kilometres, he never lost hope. Four years ago, Abdul was granted asylum within the UK. He thought his, he thought his constant struggles would have finally came to an end. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Not knowing English made it near impossible for Abdul to get a job and lay down a stable foundation for his future. This made him feel isolated and hopeless. Unfortunately, this is the harsh reality for many individuals. Abdu joined our team with the motivation to help others that found themselves in the same situation that he previously faced. Although the government creates schemes to help aid refugees, we find that there's little to no help for those that need more assistance or want to start their own businesses. We determined three areas that they often struggle with. Identifying work opportunities, lacking appropriate skills, as well as a knowledge of the local job market. We identified a group of five individuals in Glasgow through meetings with the Scottish Refugee Council. Through establishing a trusting relationship and conducting a needs assessment, we learned that they lacked sufficient knowledge of English and were burdened with feelings of isolation and distrust. Our project is called Inspire Refugees. We bring three interactive mentoring sessions to those who need our help tailored to their specific situations, as well as identify opportunities in which you can utilize the skills they already possess. Inspire Refugees has already had a significant impact on the lives of those who are looking to make Glasgow their new home. We provided four members with an extra tools to find employment, and one member is now rebuilding his company thanks to the opportunities we provided them with. We created a five-stage process to effectively empower our beneficiaries. Step number one, find beneficiaries in need of our help. Step number two, needs analysis. What three goals do they want to get from our project? Step number three, organize skill sessions for the beneficiaries to achieve their goals, such as language classes or helping to write applications. Step four, help the beneficiaries to access tools that they need for the job, such as camera equipment or bikes. In the future, we would like to create a loan process. However, for, the, for just now, we would like to gain, help them to gain access to renting the equipment. And finally, step number five, career to review. What to the gained? Is it employment, development of skills, or work experience? Mr. Zaki was one of Sudan's top photographers and the owner of a prosperous company. However, he was made to flee Sudan and seek refuge within the UK. He lost everything he had been working towards for years. The activities of our project has helped Zaki to re-establish his portfolio. We have provided him with opportunities to photograph countless events, such as business advisory board meetings and the annual Anaxis GCU Winter Ball. Zaki was awarded a certificate for his efforts, which will help to build his CV. On top of this, we located a freelance opportunity at Scope Management for a gig in Glasgow, and he was paid £20 for an hour of his time. In addition, Zaki was given access to professional equipment that would otherwise be unavailable to him due to its high cost. Let's hear how these little acts have already made a momentous impact on his life. المشروع ده أثر عليه بطريقة إيجابية خلاني أكون بني بصيغة عالية جدا أتعرف على مجتمعات جديدة على ثقافات جديدة علمني كيف أخلق فرص جديدة أكثر حاجة عجبتني في المشروع إنه لقيت ناس عموني شديد جدا ودوري فرصة إنه أقدر أشارك في نشاطات 
انا متفائل جدا بمستقبلي خصوصا انه بسبب المشروع تحت لي ابواب جديده ومتفائل انه اقدر ابني حياتي المهنيه من جديد في ان شاء الله في يوكي. He is back on track to making his passion his career once more. As a few of our team members are keen on photography, we asked for their help in teaching Mr. Zaki terminology that is essential in this field. Next year, we plan to expand our project to include more in-depth mentoring sessions just like this. This year, we have impacted the lives of five, and of those, three have been empowered to find employment at Uber Eats. Despite being in a world pandemic and a potential economic crisis, our beneficiaries have maintained employment with a sustainable income. By inspiring refugees, we have turned fear into hope. Insignificant. Not only do we strive to rebuild the lives of refugees, we also address the issues facing impoverished youth in Glasgow's most deprived area. Around 40% of children living in or in Glasgow are subjected to poverty and this number is only expected to rise. Growing up in poverty has the potential to tear a child's confidence and self-worth. Castlemilk, a district of Glasgow, is considered to be one of the city's most deprived areas, based on social issues of poverty and unemployment. Our research has shown that 35.6% of Castlemilk's inhabitants suffer from income deprivation, leaving over 44% of children within the area in poverty. We approached the teachers and pupils of Castle Milk High School and through many conversations we assessed the needs of the students. We established Jumpstart in 2019, which was an evolution of our project RAP, and it's now in its second year. We discovered that Castle Milk no longer wanted CV sessions, instead they wanted a programme that helps to develop the students' soft skills. We aimed to develop confidence, ambition and entrepreneurial skills through a weekly programme ran over six weeks. Through delivering the classes to the 13 students, we learned that the pupils preferred to take part in more interactive sessions, and the school suggested that we change from our 90-minute sessions to a two full-day sessions. During this program, the focus will shift to branding and learning sales techniques to further boost their entrepreneurial spirit, just like we have through Enactus. We presented our beneficiaries with countless opportunities to learn soft skills and pushing them out of their comfort zones the students were made to interact with new faces and form new friendships. Our project has made significant impact already as one boy who thought he would never set foot outside of Castle Milk is now aspiring to join the army and further his education. So far, Jumpstar has impacted the lives of 13 students in Castle Milk. We are already expanding the project within the school as there are more classes eager to join our project. This is what one of the teachers had to say about the work we had done. I think the best thing about the Jumpstart course has been that seeing the pupils from start to finish building in confidence um, over the period and they've done this by engaging in different group tasks, both individual um, and group tasks and having to go up in front of the class and present, which has been, I think, really rewarding for them. We plan to continue to expand the skills of the students by carrying out marketing and sales sessions, delivering the hands-on experience they asked for. In the future, we aim to introduce Jumpstart to more schools, reaching more children and targeting other impoverished areas around Glasgow. These children, who felt insignificant, are now ambitious. Isolation. In Scotland, it is estimated that there are around 30,000 homeless. Our project, Missions Net, partners with Lodging House Mission, a Glasgow-based charity dedicated to, dedicated to providing care and support to the homeless. Last year, our project imp impacted three individuals by delivering cooking classes. This year, we diverted almost 25 tonnes of food waste from being sent to landfills, saving Lodging House Mission a total of £726. After re evaluating our needs assessment, we saw that cooking was no longer attractive to beneficiaries. We also learned that the shelter was lacking a sense of community. The charity receives an estimated average of around 500 kilograms of clothing every week, most of which is deemed unsuitable for the beneficiaries to wear and thus takes a valuable space. This inspired us to rebrand into Missions Net. The call for innovation was met with an overwhelmingly positive response. We decided to repurpose the clothes that otherwise would have been discarded, adding to the 300,000 tonnes of old clothing that has been discarded in the UK per annum. To combat this, the beneficiaries will choose the most suitable 
materials to be repurposed into one-of-a-kind cushion covers or reusable makeup pads, which last much longer than the other one-time alternatives. The production of traditional cotton wool pads requires the use of harmful pesticides causing health problems for workers, polluting wildlife and rivers. By repurposing unwanted cotton, we have the power to minimize the production of this material. Not only is this a simple and eco-friendly solution for the unused clothing, it is also an innovative and effective way of delivering helpful classes to our beneficiaries, transforming unused clothing into a business venture. Currently entering the implementation stage, the products that will be manufactured at Lodge House Mission are to be sold in the GCU campus for four pounds each, generating a revenue flow back into the project. This project has, has, has had the potential to change the lives of our beneficiaries tremendously and help instill a sense of community within the charity. Through Missions Net, we have already saved close to 50 kilograms of clothing from being sent to landfill, which are now to be repurposed. We aim to double this by the end of the year. This year, we ran three projects which have impacted the lives of 18 individuals and empowered four. We addressed the issues of poverty, quality education, inequalities within communities, as well as climate action. We are change makers. We turned fear into hope. We turned insignificance into ambition. We turned isolation into community. Together, we show that people really do make Glasgow. We are the university for the common good. We are Enactus GCU.